Hello everyone, my name is Katana Badani and I'm the author and illustrator of Cat and Juju book series. And yes, we have two special guests. This is Juju. Woo. Juju is, you see, an egg-shaped red bird who is so bold and brave. And this guy, she is Cat. <laughs> shy she's an introverted kid and she's yes she's wearing a red cat ear headband and together they're so happy to meet you guys and we all gonna read the cat and juju first book to you guys so cat and juju come on let's go grab the books and read it to everyone so cat and juju are going to help me Bring the book. Come on, guys. Give me the book. Thank you so much, Cat and Juju. And this is the book of Cat and Juju. Yes. And you guys see, this is Cat and this is Juju. And guys, I wrote and illustrated this book um, based on a true story. Uh, I actually had a birdie called Juju who came to my life. It was a wild bird who really taught me how to be brave. You know, sometimes we come across people or even animals or creatures that they're so different than us. And we may not speak each other's language, but we can learn a lot from each other, right guys? So this is dedicated to my Juju bird. And right when you open the page, you will see that the book, you will see that I dedicated this book to my Juju help me how to be brave but also to my beautiful mom my mother actually when i was younger she allowed me to draw big on walls in my room i know some parents is this is weird but my mom really believed in me and i always want to thank her because if it wasn't for her i could have been scared to really pursue my dream. So I want to say it to all the parents, to all the mothers, all fathers, caretakers, who really help all of us to follow our dreams, to thank you. And this book is truly dedicated to you. So the first page of the book that I see, we will meet Kat. And Kat liked to do things in her own unique way. And Kat always loved to draw. She always made sure that she colored inside the lines. And here you guys see that when everybody else would do one thing, like all these kids are taking selfies, Kat found wonders in things that other people didn't notice. Do you guys see she's taking pictures of their shadow and she sees that this big shape is appearing. So again, everybody's doing one thing and Kat is doing the other. And Kat actually loved to hug trees and tell them secrets. And she would tell them, nobody knows but you because trees would keep the secrets so good. And other kids always were looking at Kat. And of course, all the other kids were always wondering about her, but she always was so shy to approach them. And sometimes it would get very lonely. Can you guys relate? Do you guys sometimes feel so different from everyone else? And you're so shy to maybe speak up and to open up. And it does feel lonely, right? And Kat knew that all these other kids on their birthday, they met a special friend. That's right. So they see this, they have this best friend and this beautiful connection. Do you guys see? They all have this, this has a little octopus here. And Kat was excited that maybe and hopeful that on her birthday, she's gonna meet her very own friend. So on Kat's birthday, she woke up at sunrise. She was so excited and she jumped down the steps and she came to the front door, opened the door, and it's hope she was hopeful to meet her very best friend. And then suddenly, look guys, yes, Juju arrived. It's like, hey, yeah, Kat, I'm Juju. Happy, happy birthday. And Kat and Juju hugged and Kat right away knew that they're going to be very special friends. But very soon, Kat noticed that Juju was very different than her. Juju liked to do things differently. Juju liked to draw 
big on the walls and also Juju likes to color outside the lines and also when Juju wanted to take pictures Juju liked to go upside down on his head and be spontaneous and they went to the beach and guys Cat was always terrified of the ocean are you guys have fears and maybe terrified of ocean or anything like that well cat can relate to you and when other kids were playing she noticed that juju is so brave and juju didn't care and you guys see juju is like cannonball and he's jumping in inside the water and cat knew that oh my god juju is so different is, she, is he still gonna be my friend even though we're so different from one another and of course Juju stayed by Cat's side and all Juju wanted was to inspire Cat to let go, not to change, but to really face all her fears. So Juju was like, sometimes you just gotta let go and do a little happy dance. Do you guys see Juju is like, doesn't care. He's on his head and he's rotating. And he's not even a great dancer, but he's still dancing and Cat to dance and he tried to move like Juju and do a happy dance but she couldn't because what if other people would judge her if she didn't dance well and she was scared that what if other kids would laugh at her can you guys relate to this I can you know sometimes we know we can do something but we always have that thing that stops us, that fear that what if the world judges? What if other people, they, they, they laugh at us, right? And that makes us like, maybe I shouldn't do this. And we doubt ourselves. But of course, Juju didn't care what other people cared. And Juju is like, come on, let's dance and do a happy dance, even in the rain. I see it's raining and they're still dancing and as he's dancing suddenly something stopped him and do you guys see what they found they found a little birdie yes a small little birdie cold in rain and the parents were not there the cat just leaned down and said poor little birdie it must be so cold so Cat grabbed the little birdie and then they put a warm cloth around it and the birdie was so scared. And Cat, right at that moment, she knew how that feels like. How that feels like to feel lonely and feel scared. So Cat told the little birdie, don't be scared, I'm here. And Juju is like, we can take care of the little birdie. And Cat was like, but what if I can't? And Juju tried to tell Cat, together we can help this birdie. So Cat tried to really believe that, okay, let's do this. So they began, and do you guys see? They're trying to be the caretakers and nurses, and they're trying to take care of this birdie here. And they made it some warm birdie food, and they tried to feed it and keep it warm and give it love. And Cat even took the little birdie, do you guys see, by the tree. It's like, we can hug it and tell it, see, tell all our secrets. You're not a lone little birdie. And they even went on top of a tall tree, sat on the branch. And there are other birdies, do you guys see, flying. And Cat was like, one day that will be you. But of course, little birdie was still scared. And Cat was trying to do her best with the help of Juju to help little birdie feel brave to fly. And sometimes it was hard, but Cat was still doing it. She tried to, with the help of Juju, go, do you guys see, on a boat, even though she's terrified of ocean. And they tried to sing a song together, do you guys see? They're playing music. And they even tried to swim together with the little tubies, but of course the water was so cold and Cat was still scared. But she, still she tried to face her fears and Juju even said come on let's go ride the bike down the sunflower hill Woo. you guys see they put the little birdie in the basket and they went wee and Cat is like oh that's so scary and they even went 
on a hot air balloon up, up in the sky and to show Birdie how it feels like to fly. And they're looking down, whoa, this is wonderful. And then that day came, that little birdie opened her wings and started to fly. Yes, little birdie can fly, fly birdie, fly. And Cat couldn't believe it, that finally after everything that Cat and Juju did, little birdie finally learned to face the fears. And yes, right at that moment, Cat didn't care what other people would think. So Cat let go and did a happy dance because this was a moment to celebrate. Yeah! And all the other kids and even Juju, they all wondered, oh my goodness, Cat faced her fear. And yes, and Cat realized that by doing that, she gained so many friends and she wasn't lonely anymore. But of course, she still stayed true to who she is. And she still, look at her, she's still taking pictures of the shadows and being the unique cat that she is. But uh, she wanted to also share with you guys that with the help of her juju, she learned that she can be who she is, but also face all her dreams and all her fears. And yes, this is to all of us that even though we feel very different and maybe we do things differently than other people and maybe we have big dreams that we worry that other people would laugh at us that remember how juju inspired cats so we all would love to have a juju in our heart right guys a juju by our side to help us to face all our fears so cat and juju are here to tell you guys that you can be anything that you want. If you just face your fears, be who you are. If you like to color inside the lines, color inside the lines. If you wanna color outside the lines, color outside the lines. If you're an introvert or an extrovert or whoever you are, be you and face all your fears and don't worry what the world thinks of you. Okay guys, and this was the story of book one of Cat and Juju, and they're so happy that they got a chance to share their story with you. Yes, Cat and Juju, guys, see Cat and Juju are here to say thank you guys for reading with us our book. So Cat and Juju and I would love to say goodbye to you guys for now. Thank you for joining us. We believe you guys are all birdies with wings. You can fly high. So open your wings and reach your full potential. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to Gotham Reads for more of your favorite children's books read aloud daily.